Couldn't get out of bed today. I suppose if anyone has any good questions, I'll take them. We can open it up to, to everybody today. Uh, yeah, what a, uh, what a ride. Uh, lots and uh, lots and lots of uh, things that we could talk about. Uh, all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, you know, really proud of the way the guys have handled themselves, of course, all year. And, and no different tonight. You know, you don't, uh, you don't want to be done, especially when you feel like and we all feel like our team is good enough to be playing again next weekend and the weekend after. And um, so it's, uh, you know, there's some disappointment in that. But the guys handled it, you know, the way in which they've handled everything all year long. And, and that part of it we can all be, uh, be very proud of. Uh, the five seniors are, uh, uh, you know, finished with putting the jersey on, but they're uh, uh, just starting the, the big journey. And, uh, and that's going to be exciting to see what, uh, what those five guys uh, head out and do next. Uh, Seth wants to keep playing, and then he wants to coach. And uh, Marvin and Dion uh, want to keep playing as well. Uh, and then Marvin, as I think everybody is, is pretty well aware, uh, you know, has worked hard academically uh, with a uh, degree in, in business. And uh, when, he's, when he's done playing, uh, he's going to have some great opportunities with all of the the service and things that he did off the floor combined with uh, the degree that he's got. Uh, they, I think it was at the Valley Tournament, we were sitting around talking with some of the CBS people and, and they asked uh, Dion what he wants to do when he's done playing and he kind of shrugged his shoulders and said, you know, I'm not sure. And that, uh, that kind of reminded me of me 20 plus years ago. Uh, but he'll, uh, uh, you know, he's grown a lot in the last year and a half, and so he'll, uh, he'll do great when he's done playing. And uh, Nate, uh, I think Nate wants to get a job in town or close to town and be around here. And uh, he's getting married, as I think everybody's pretty well aware, uh, coming up here soon. And, uh, and then Max will, uh, you know, Max will probably be running our country here in a couple years, <laughs> as, uh, um, as good as he's doing. So I'm uh, really proud of those guys, really excited for him, for what's coming next. And, and then I, and I don't want to talk a lot about it, but uh, I sure am excited about the guys we got back. You know, I love the foundation and, and the bar has been raised and, and we got a great crew back and, and uh, so can't wait. We'll get a couple weeks off and then, uh, and then we'll get started again and can't wait for this summer and this fall and putting this team together again for, uh, for next year. We, uh, we got a great crew coming back, so I'm, uh, I'm excited about that. Uh, thank all of you for, uh, for being here all year long. I uh, really appreciate it. Fun to see you every Monday. And, yeah, I would take questions, even though uh, Gare's not around. I'm guessing somebody might have one for me. Uh, if not, we'll uh, keep moving. Jake, aside from the wins and the success of the four tournament, what's the one thing that you know, you're know you going to take out of this year's team? What was the most rewarding experience? Yeah, I would tell you that the most rewarding thing is, is how much the five seniors changed over the course of the last six months. Uh, and there was plenty of change between first year and in the start of this year, you know, they grew a lot and they changed a lot. But boy, what they did uh, starting six or seven months ago and, and to maybe eight months ago, you know, kind of the, the summer uh, and how much they put into it and uh, the, the, the dedication that uh, uh, that they showed in, in changing some habits and, and really wanting to be great and uh, uh, just making those changes would be the thing that I'm that I'm most proud of because those are things now. I mean it. You know, it made for a heck of a ride for all of us, um, and I'm glad that they, as a group, got to experience it. Um, that's something that doesn't happen all the time. And, uh, but they now have those. You know, they now know. You know, Dion knows that uh, that putting in that kind of time, you know, he's got a really high ceiling. He's a tremendously talented young man, and uh, and he now knows that uh, work, that extra time, you know, that that that's going to help him get where he wants to get. And and I could run down the list of the five seniors. And, and, uh, and I won't, uh, but they, they taught themselves some very valuable lessons that are really going to help them. And uh, that's what I'm most, most proud of. 